I'm going to give you an English lesson, and the topic for this English lesson is going to be doing laundry. So, as you can see here, I've got a pile of laundry, and the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to sort it. I'm going to divide it into three different piles, and my, two, my three piles are going to be dark. So, in other words, um, the darks are the darker color, blue, black, you know, that kind of stuff. And then I'm going to have a pile of whites, and then I'm going to have a pile of whites. So, this is obviously dark, I consider that light, that's light, dark, dark, and I just go through the whole laundry that way. So, I've got a lot of dark clothes here, so I'm just going to do that. washing machine. So, I'm going to do my darks. So, I'll take the dark clothes that I just sorted and I'm going to dump it in the washer. This type of washing machine is called a top loader. Um, some places have a front loader, but um, I know that front loaders use less water, but a lot of people find top loaders more convenient. So, next thing to do is I'm going to add the laundry soap and the fabric softener. So, I want to measure out how much I got. The cap is marked for how many loads or how much, the, well, not loads, but how dirty your laundry is. So I got quite a number of clothes in there, so I'm going to have it on the full side. That goes in one compartment, and in the other compartment goes fabric softener. I might say, well, what's fabric softener? Fabric softener is something that we add to make the clothes soft when they go through the dryer. If you hang them on the line, you don't, people don't usually talk about that, but a lot of people, most Americans use a dryer and they use a fabric softener to make the clothes, the towels softer, or you know, all that kind of stuff. And also, especially in the winter time, it reduces the static clay. So there's two separate compartments here. I put the laundry soap in one and the fabric softener in the other. And then I just close the lid and this is a programmable one so I'm going to turn on the power. And there's various options here so I have darks, so there's no, no delicates, there's nothing special, nothing I have to be careful about washing. Darks usually um, use like a warm temperature, so I'm going to use a normal wash, and I've added fabric softener, so I'm going to make that indication. There's other options here too, if you want to have a soaking time for your laundry, or if you want to have extra, an extra rinse and extra water, that kind of thing. And the, since I chose a normal, it has all the temperature settings and all that kind of stuff, the spin cycle, is uh, the spin speed is all set so all I have to do is press start and then it does its thing and this will take about an hour so I'll come back in about an hour or so and then it will be time to put stuff in the dryer I just thought it might be a good idea to explain why we separate our laundry into darks, lights, and whites. Oops. And th there's a couple of reasons. Different colors of clothes do better in different temperatures. So for example, whites 
are usually washed in very hot water to make them whiter and cleaner and that kind of stuff. Whereas the other colors, especially the darks, if you wash them in hot water, they're more likely to fade. So temperature is one reason. Another reason is that some colors, especially if the clothes are brand new, the dyes in the color are more likely to run. So by that we mean the color can kind of like bleed or leak out and color the water and their bright color the other clothes. So for example, if you have a new pair of blue jeans, the blue dye, if you wash it with a white t-shirt, for example, the blue dye might go out into the water and tint your white t-shirt blue. So you obviously wouldn't want that. Or another classic example is if you have something red and the red color, the red dye will go out into the water and change your clothes pink. So the the dye issue is, or the color issue is another reason why we separate clothes into similar colors, the darks, the lights, and the whites. And just a, another piece of vocabulary for you, when, um, when colors, well, the washing machine is spinning now to get rid of the rinse water, so it's kind of loud. So, uh, another piece of vocabulary for you, when the colors bleed like that, we say that the item is not color fast. Fast is kind of an old-fashioned word that means that, it's, that it, um, it stays put, it doesn't move. So, if the uh, if item is color fast, then the colors will not bleed. Darks are done in the washer, so the next step is to put them in the dryer. Now, most Americans use a dryer. And there's a few that use a clothesline outside, but most, most people, they live in the city or they live in an urban area, so it's much more common to use a, a dryer. Um, when I was a child, a lot more people dried the clothes on the line, and personally, I liked it better because it smells the clothes up that you dry on the line smell a lot fresher and stuff. But um, as I said, it's just more convenient and a lot more people use the dryer. So I'm going to take them, take my clothes out of the washer and put them in the dryer. But first, I have to clean the lens screen. When you use the um, when you use the dryer, there's this stuff called. Like little fuzzy stuff that comes off from the clothes and when you wash and then when you dry. So you really have to clean that from the dryer. If you don't do it, it will build up and it could cause a fire. So I'm going to do that. And put my clothes in here. So Shake things out so they don't don't just throw a wad of clothes in there. One of the nice things about doing the laundry is sometimes there's a bonus in there. You check the pockets and you find money. So that's always nice. But no money this time. it's kind of noisy. So what I actually want to do now is show you about doing whites. Doing light colors is not that different from doing dark colors, but doing whites I'm going to add bleach to it. So I'm going to take my whites and put them in the little washer. 
technically these are not white, but they're towels and I want them to be washed hot, so they're clean, nice and clean. Okay, so there I've got my whites in. receptacle here. I can pour the bleach directly in here. It says liquid bleach only. And that's what I've got. So you pour the bleach in there and then at the appropriate time in the wash cycle the machine releases the bleach into the water. This one, there's a setting here for whites, and if I press whites, then that will produce or that will wash the clothes at a hotter temperature. And that's for the whites, it helps get them a lot cleaner. And I have the option here for okay, fabric softener, which I'm using, and also I'm going to use soak, so it'll, for stuff that's extra duty and want it to soak a little to get rid of get rid of the excess dirt so it'll add a little more time so this takes about an hour and 20 minutes for this whole process to be done so that's the whites and now I'm ready to set my dryer going so I can with the dryer I can either use the time to dry or there you can use an automatic dry so with the automatic dry there's a sensor inside so it senses when enough moisture has been removed from your item so I just use the automatic dry you can have it on um, you want things more dry or maybe look on the damp side I just put it on very dry and that's all it is it's really kind of noisy, so that's why I saved it for last. So that's all there is to do in laundry. The only thing left to do is to take the clothes out of the dryer and fold them. That's not my favorite part, so I'm not going to bore you with it. But I hope that you enjoy this opportunity to learn some English.